welcome back to another installment of Teaching in 10, where you take 10 minutes out of your life to learn something hopefully that will be helpful in the mental health realm. Uh, my name is Dr. Brian Dixon. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and I get to teach y'all a little bit about stimulants today. Uh, I like to stay to time, so I'm gonna put a timer, uh, 10 minutes uh, for us to talk. Uh, at some point you'll see me reach over and do some stuff, so just kind of walk with me. Uh, before we get started, so I am owner of something called Simply Psych. It is a practice management solution company to help therapists and psychiatrists run practices that uh, allow an, an increase of access to care, especially really good mental health care. Um, you can go to www.simplypsych.com to learn more about all that stuff. Before we get into the teaching uh, with our special whiteboard, I always like to go through the disclaimer. So you're, you're probably going to hear some stuff that may or may not pertain to you, because keep in mind, I'm a psychiatrist, but I'm not your psychiatrist. And so if there's something that I say and you're like, I don't know what that's about, or oh, I heard that differently, then it doesn't pertain to you. And I'm gonna always encourage you to go and talk to the person that you work with, um, either your nurse practitioner, your doctor, psychiatrist, psychologist, that sort of thing. Um, and then the second thing is, these are very, very broad topics. We're gonna get into some little details, but um, it, this is not meant to be medical advice. So don't be getting, uh, uh, getting that impression because I don't I don't want you uh, I want to keep you safe okay so um, so yeah so we're gonna talk about stimulants today so stimulax so in the world of ADHD so if you ever have a diagnosis of ADHD or narcolepsy or anything where a stimulant is um, uh, being talked about um, the main brain chemical that we're shooting for is to affect dopamine so dopamine. Uh, is related to attention, it's related to um, agitation, it's related to mood, and if you can't read my writing, I'm sorry, that's just how I was trained, uh, but uh, hopefully this should all be captioned, so hopefully you'll, uh, you can keep up with me. Uh, and so um, uh, in, in certain parts of your brain, you want a certain amounts of dopamine to be available so that certain brain cells can focus. Um, and so, um, so in other words, if you have a diagnosis of ADHD, and ADHD comes in three different types, not seven. I know I heard that the other day. Someone was like, oh, there's like seven different types. There's not, there's three. Um, there's the inattentive type, inattentive, inattentive, B. Um, there's your hyperactive, impulsive, and then there's your combined, your combined type. So the kind of combined type is a combination of these two things. So that's how you get the third. So if you don't have one of the first ones, then you can't have the third. Um, but um, um, messing with your dopamine levels really helps with the inattentive type so that you can um, pay attention. Um, the medicines in the stimulant world um, come in two different families. So there's your Adderall family. And these are brand names. I'll give you the generics in a second. And then there's the Ritalin family. Um, the generic name for Adderall is amphetamine salts. Amphetamine salts. And uh, Ritalin is um, methylphenidate. All right, I'm gonna stop here for just a second to reiterate something that's really important. Um, we at Simply Psych firmly, firmly believe that misinformation and disinformation is dangerous. So misinformation is when people take things out of context or they don't know what they're talking about. And then disinformation is when people literally uh, just make stuff up uh, because that's dangerous. And we want y'all to have the best information possible. And so when it comes to this topic, it is super, super misunderstood. First off, amphetamine salts, this is not methamphetamine. Methamphetamine, which is uh, that commonly heard uh, term of meth, is not this. Uh, you actually, um, these are safe and FDA approved and regulated. There's also a difference between these two. So amphetamines and methylphenidate are two different things. It's kind of like Coke and Pepsi. So when you drink a Coke or you drink a Pepsi, you can tell that they're different, but they're both considered colas. These two medicines are the exact same way. They push out dopamine so that you can focus for a certain amount of time. The, the effects of this, when used appropriately, should wear off that exact same day. Now, it didn't completely come out of your system, like if you have to do a drug test, it'll still be in your pee. Um, but the effects, the, um, the uh, ability for you to focus and concentrate should always leave the same day, okay? Underneath both of these families, there's lots of different versions. I'm gonna run through um, um, as many as I can think of real quick. So there's Adderall itself. If you've ever heard of Vyvanse, that falls in this category. 
Evidio. Oh goodness. I think Diana Bell. Diane Bell. I think it falls in there. Don't quote me because it may be enough. But they, um, these are all brand names, so they tend to get very, very pricey. So just keep that in mind. Um, we'll come back to this one in a second um, because there's one I'm completely blanking on. When it comes to Ripwin, uh, methylphenidate is generic, but it can come in lots of different ways. Um, so it can come as Concerta, it can come as Metadate, um, it can come as um, Ritalin LA. It can come as Quillivant, it can come as Jornay, which I don't know, I think that's kind of a cute name, so Jornay. Um, and then there's one, uh, there's an offshoot of this one called dexmethylphenidate, is where they took this and kind of super concentrated it. And dexmethylphenidate is also, dex blah blah blah, is also known as uh, Focalin. So if you've ever heard of Focalin. But all of these are in one category. So. The main side effect of both categories, the most common side effect, is appetite suppression. Um, and sometimes your appetite suppression is so profound that you literally won't even think of eating. Um, and so these are not uh, weight loss medicines. Um, we don't use them for that purpose. We use them for the purposes for which they're written. Um, but this is one of the side effects that happens. And so oftentimes I have to remind folks to, hey, even though you're taking this medicine or you're giving this medicine to your kid, make sure you eat, because don't nobody want to be around you if you're hangry, and hangry is not cute, right? So appetite suppression is most common. Um, headache is probably the second most common that I see in all the people uh, that I treat. If there's any other underlying medical stuff going on, you want to make sure you rule up that stuff out. Heart stuff, diabetes stuff, thyroid stuff. Um, because when you take a stimulant, those uh, stimulants can uh, can affect those other systems. Now, if you go to a psychiatrist, they're going to uh, they're going to run through all of that stuff to make sure that those aren't active problems for you before they ever put you on these things. One of the things um, there's lots of different psychiatrists. Every psych psychiatrist practices differently. Keep in mind that some psychiatrists, because they are um, very leery of people abusing these things. They may put you under a contract where you have to literally say, I will not divert my medicines. I will not give my medicines away. I will not sell them on the black market. Some of those psychiatrists will also um, uh, urine drug test you. They'll make sure that you're not doing other things that could mess this whole thing up. Um, the, um, the, the um, question always comes up, which one do you start with? So um, people always ask us that. It's again, dependent on your training. Um, sometimes it's dependent on the age and so Adderall is approved for five and below. Ritalin is approved for like six and up. Um, there is some wiggle room in that because as doctors, we have the ability to write things off label as long as we explain that to people, right? So I've had itty bitties on Ritalin. Um, most adults seem to do better with Adderall. That's just kind of a rule of thumb, not a hard, hard and fast rule. Um, and then the key is you make sure to stay in touch with that person. So you ask, how long is it working? Is it helpful? Is it working? Uh, are you having any side effects? And then we can, what we call dose to effect, we can change the doses of all these things to try to get better coverage for you throughout the day. Um, as far as kind of standard dosing, um, it just depends on which one you're going with. Standard dosing for um, these, uh, it'll feel a lot less. So five milligrams to so basically 60. Um, most people never get that high, y'all, like never. So, um, and then with these, um, with methylphenidates, most times it starts at five. And then depending on the situation, I can actually push it up to over a hundred milligrams. And it's very rare to, again, uh, that's, that's something that you would have to talk to your doctor about. Um, yeah, and then uh, the last key to these particular medicines is that they are uh, Schedule II medicines. So in other words, the DEA, which is the Drug Enforcement Agency, they keep track of all this stuff nationwide. I have to have a special license in order to even write for these medicines, um, and they track this stuff. And so uh, because it, 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 uh, there is abuse potential, again, these medicines don't get you high uh, when used appropriately. So please use them appropriately. All right, y'all. So that is the teaching and 10 for stimulants, super fast. Uh, if you have questions, uh, make sure that you uh, uh, send us uh, some love over at simplysite.com. Follow us on social media if, uh, if that's your thing. Uh, and, uh, and then please share this information because we really, really want to make sure that everybody knows what resources are available for positive mental health. 
See y'all next time.